Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Ba -ba -boom 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 -boom. Oh. How y'all hey? I am in the country today, honey. I'm in Jersey, but I am in South Jersey and it's the country. It is the country. And I grew up here, but I just realized how country it really is because of how far I got to travel to go to get stuff. I just travel to go get me a sandwich. I travel to go to the flea market. I travel. Uh, I'm about 40 minutes from Atlantic City. You know I had to hit that up because I'm in South Jersey. Oh, where am I turning? I lived here all my life. Can't remember shit. I do. But anyway, as you can see from the title of my video, would you do social media and tell all of your business for free? Obviously, we've been doing that for years. That's I really thought about it. Obviously, we've been doing that for years. We go on Facebook. We tell people where we are, what we're doing. Basically, basically telling people our business for free. But then when you start, if you get monetized, like, on a platform, and then you come, come out. Me trying to be nice, he trying to be nice. Thank you. Would you um, continue to do your commentary, whatever, because you got paid at one time and now you're not getting paid? So here's my aunt. Yo, I'm about to pull up on her because I bought her a sandwich. Look at her, y'all. I'm not even gonna put, I'm not gonna put her on camera. If she said my name, I'm going to have to... Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me pause this. Oops. Anyway. Oh, God. She remembered that I told her I was going to take her shopping. I'm, oh, I didn't even get a nap today. <laughs> so, like I was saying, like, would you do that? Like, I'm thinking about a, a YouTuber... Who had a pretty large channel and lost the um, the mo monetization feature on, on her YouTube channel. So, like, now she can't get YouTube, but yet she can't get YouTube. She can't get monetized. And I'm like, but would I even continue to bother doing it? If YouTube is like banning me, because YouTube can ban you for life. Like, you could be coming up with all kinds of, like, there's, you know, things that we have to do on the back end to, once you get monetized and stuff, you have to give up real government information. Because you really are, like, an, you are really an employee of the Google AdSense. So you got to give up real government information. So it's not like you can make up. It's not just about your email address. You can't just, you know, we could make up 500 email address. But when it comes to being monetized on any of the platforms, you got to give up. Oh, I didn't know if I was recording. You got to give up real government information. So, if I'm not going to be paid, would I continue to be on YouTube telling my business? Now, if you got a passion about something, you know, and you still want to get the word out even though you're not getting paid for it, then you're going to do what you're going to do because you got the passion. But if you just... In the past, you got a pretty decent wage. And now you're not getting nothing. 
I don't I don't think I would be on YouTube like that. You know, unless you want to try to keep your fan base. You know, unless you want to keep your fan base and then take them with you somewhere else. And that's what we see like um uh Kaya Thug misses. I love watching Kaya do her roasting gag and 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 as long as you ain't the recipient of the roasting gag, it's all fun and fun and games. It's all giggle, giggle, giggle. But every time she builds a channel, they tear it down. So the same thing with um, Tasha K. They didn't take her channel, but they could. Which is why they build um, websites, and you got to go there and pay for their content you know so they're not now see I don't know if they're going to be making the same amount of money that they would make on Google I mean on uh, YouTube I don't know about that I'm just I just don't know if I would be even willing to do it I only started drinking this because one of my favorite channels, Mr. Junior, like, Mr. Junior like Crush or, I think he likes Crush or Orange Soda. I think it's Crush. But he always asking his daughter, Terry, to go get him some Crush. So I'm drinking this. This is for you, Mr. Junior. <laughs> So yeah, would you do that? Would you continue to tell your business on YouTube if they cut you off financially? I don't think so, Adriana, because that's what I'm talking about. I don't know. Because you want to take your fan base with you wherever you go and rebuild there. But from what I understand, TikTok is not... <laughs> I mean, I'm on TikTok. Check me out on TikTok. Psychology Eats on TikTok. But on TikTok, we you got to have 10,000 followers to even talk about getting monetized. And that's not easy. I mean, shit. It's not. This whole YouTube, social media, any of it, it's not easy to make a bag. It's not. It's a grind and a hustle to it. And if your grind and hustle is telling all of your personal business, then that's just what it is. Because obviously people want to hear it because they subscribe and they want to hear it and you make it funny or serious or whatever you do. Whatever you do, you do. But um, I don't know if I will still be working as hard as I know she did, even though people are like, what you didn't do to sit in the car and eat and da da da. So what? You still gotta put some some sort of thought and effort, you know, a little bit of editing, and then put the video out. I mean, it's still work. And I honestly, I'd rather do that type of work than sitting up in an office all day, and that's on everything, honey. Yeah, you get more security and working for the man. But, um, child, please, I ain't never been the one to be all geesed up about going to some other person's company and making them money. <laughs> all right, well, I have arrived at my destination, but that was my thought, like. And when we start YouTube, nobody's making no big time. Nobody's making money, period, when you start YouTube until you meet the requirements. So we pretty pretty much are working for free. We're working for free until you get to that point. Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, my napkin. Oh, ah, shit. Oh, y'all, to those of you who follow me, I got my car. I got a new car. I finally went and got a new car, honey. I had to. Because everybody, all my kids was like, uh-uh, mama, you need a good car. Because we sick of you barring ours. 
So I got a car. I didn't want to because I don't like car notes. I don't. But I got to start doing a little more traveling to check on my parents and stuff like that, which is where I'm at now. And so uh, I had to get a car. It ain't nothing big. It ain't nothing but a little Hyundai Elantra. What is that called? Which I don't even know all the little features on this little car. But it's cute. They get me from uh, point A to point B. And you know what? I'm actually trying to keep it clean. All right, well, bye, y'all.